Electricity is way, way too expensive these days. It can feel like you only turn on a couple of light bulbs and suddenly your bill is way more expensive. So I was thinking, well, is there a way that we could actually make that cheaper and perhaps generate our own electricity? So that's what we're going to be doing today, using just this very simple motor that I have here, along with some other pieces I've been able to scavenge, we're gonna generate our own electricity right here in the workshop. The motor itself is pretty simple, a standard 24 volt, 100 watt DC motor that works just by touching these terminals to any power source, like this nine volt battery. Now that's all well and good, but how are we actually gonna generate power with this? Well, it actually works in the opposite way. So if I attach an LED to these terminals, you can very clearly see that I can generate power using the motor. Now, spinning the motor with my hands is not nearly enough to actually generate a meaningful amount of power. So I'm going to have to hook this up to something that can spin a lot faster and a lot more consistently for a lot longer. And that thing just so happens to be this bike that I got for free. Now this thing has definitely had better days, but for the purposes of this project, it should be perfect for what we needed to do. So I got to work removing all of the non-essential parts from the bike, like the brakes and all of the extra cables. By the time I had finished stripping down the bike, I was ready to build a simple base for the back part of the bike to rest on. After this, I checked my bolts and noticed the only three I had that fit the motor were very short, so I had to make a small bracket to connect to the motor to make sure everything would work together nicely. And once the motor was attached, I was ready to give it a test. Okay, this is bike generator test number one. Trying to power an LED. That works for me. That looks like it works to me. Well, powering an LED certainly is a success, but I'm looking to do something a bit more than that. Something with a bit more light to it. Perhaps a light bulb. The bulb is plugged in. Here's light bulb test number one. So that wasn't entirely honest of me. I knew this light bulb wasn't gonna work and that's because of a difference in voltage. So if you remember back to about two minutes ago, I said that the motor has a maximum output of 24 volts. And if you look at a standard light bulb like the one I used here, it runs off of 120 volts. Now with the absolute maximum output power being only one fifth of what's required, it's obviously not gonna turn on, especially when I'm only generating a handful of volts here. So for a light bulb to actually work, I'd need one with a much lower voltage and I'd have to modify the setup, which is exactly what I'll be doing. So to modify the design, I'm going to have to add some more gears and a second chain to start to make a gear reduction setup. And to do that, I'm actually going to be using part of the wheel that I just took off, but only a very small part of it. And that small part is the central hub, which I've connected to two other parts from another bike that I took apart a while ago. Once everything was lined up correctly, I installed a second chain pushing the motor back a little bit so I could have a better gear reduction system to generate more power with the motor. Now that we've done some upgrades to the system, let's see how much easier it is to power the LED compared to before. Wow. That turns on with way, way less effort than before. With that successful test, I was ready to wire in an actual light bulb and see what I could do. Everything is all wired up and ready to go for the first light bulb test. And I'm thrilled to see if I can actually power a light bulb with the setup that I have right here. And to make things even more interesting, we're gonna be doing it with the lights off for the full grand reveal. So let me get into position and we'll see if I can generate power just using this bike generator. And here we go, test one with the actual light bulb on the bike. Let's see if we can get something going here. Well, 
Well, the bike generator works. It might not be the prettiest thing and it might not be the brightest possible light, but it certainly does light up this light bulb only using junk that I had in my workshop. The only two parts of this project that I did not have on hand are the light bulb and the motor. Every single other piece I scavenged for free out of all sorts of various parts to build a fully functional bike generator. Now looking at actual energy savings, this light will uh, run you about a dollar per year in energy costs, so although it is a very, very cool project, I don't think I'll be saving too much on my electricity bill. But I truly enjoyed making this project. I had a blast building the bike generator and using the motor to try out some unique things, and I'll definitely be using the motor for some other cool projects moving forward. If you want some more behind the scenes on where my headspace was at when I was making this project, and some behind the scenes on all other videos, and early access to everything I post on YouTube, consider checking out my Patreon, link down below. Otherwise, thank you so, so much for watching, and I really look forward to seeing you in the next video.